What's up? Brandon Lilly here. Got a question today at lillytraining at yahoo.com. And the question that came through was, Brandon, I've been stuck at 335 pounds on my bench press for about a year now. I'm wanting 350 so bad I can taste it, but I just can't get over the hump. What should I do? Well, the reality of the question is, it's two part, okay? Part of it's mental, part of it's physical. Numbers like 50, 75, 25, and even 100 numbers tend to have a little bit more of a, a mental barrier than, than hearing odd numbers. So even when I squatted 1,000 pounds um, the first time, instead of taking 1,000 even, we went to 1,005. Same for my 950. Um, for whatever reason in training, it, it was going well. Skipped right over it, went to 960 in a meet. And when I switched back to raw, um, the first time I did do 800, but it was a struggle. And then the next meet I went to 810 and it seemed to, it just seemed much easier. I don't know why that is, but those big round numbers just seem physically imposing or mentally imposing. And a lot of guys focus too much on the significance of that. So be aware and just hit those numbers in between. If you're at 335 and 350 is your goal, 340 is a PR. So don't be afraid to go along and hit those smaller PRs just to keep the wheels moving forward. The other thing is, so many guys, when they're working up, like for example, let's say you're working to 335. I'm gonna imagine that somewhere along the lines you look like this in your warm ups. You'll take the bar for eight to 10 repetitions. You'll take a quarter for eight to 10 repetitions. Maybe not, maybe you're a guy that goes straight to a plate. I don't know, but I believe in taking the bar. I believe in taking a quarter. I believe in taking the plate. And then I also go plate, quarter, plate, quarter, plate, quarter. I give myself time to warm up properly. But the other thing that it does is it builds in a lot of volume. And over time, by taking those smaller jumps, it's going to put a lot of mass on you. It's going to put a hardened type of muscle on top of your body um, that you just don't see in guys that don't do a lot of repetitions. And that gets me back to my point. As you're warming up, so many guys, once they start getting near levels, like for a 335 bench, I would imagine you go play for, you know, six to eight reps, let's say 185 for six to eight reps, 225 for six to eight reps. And then let's say 225 for five reps, 275 for three reps, and then 315 for one and 335 for one, and you're done. Well, if you're trying to get over that hump, what you need to do is you need to start doing repetitions with things that you're previously doing singles with. So if you're doing 275 for three, start trying to stretch that and make it five. If you're doing 315 for one, stretch that and try to make it two. Eventually, what's gonna happen is those weights will come. You'll start getting doubles and triples with weights that you were previously doing singles with, and the weights that you're having trouble with, like 335, 350, will start feeling lighter and lighter and lighter because you're more comfortable with the weights as they come. So many guys fail to do this, and it's one of the things, it's one of the simplest things you can do. When I was going for uh, 584, when I bench set at Pro Raw, um, one of the things that I started doing was forcing myself to take 550 for sets of two, sets of three. And um, it allowed me to have so much more confidence that I was, I was always doing like 540 for a single, 550 for a single, so on and so forth. But when I started making myself do it for, for doubles, triples, and so on, what happened was I started making little mistakes, but it became okay. You know, I didn't freak out with those mistakes when the weight was in my hand. I learned to think through the mistakes, and it was like, oh, okay, this is comfortable for me now. 550 got to the point where it was actually my opener. I was so confident I could do it three times. Um, there was no concern whatsoever. That made 584 seem like that much more realistic and that much more possible. So by slowly increasing the reps that you're using on your warm-ups and doing more volume on your warm-ups along the way over time, it's going to make you a much stronger athlete. So if you're struggling with a weight, whether it be 350, whether it be 600, the best way to do that is start increasing the reps closer to your maximum. 550 for two, make it 550 for three. When you can do that for three, go to 560 and do it for three. So on and so forth. Just keep moving the wheel forward slowly but surely that's the way to do it because these big time gains they're nice and they're fun but they don't always happen so you've got to stay patient you've got to stay diligent when the gains slow down and you've got to make the gains come when you can't always see them so work hard keep pushing the reps you'll get better for it thanks for tuning in i'll catch you guys next time